Let's make a video. What's going on, everybody? I finally decided to figure out what to talk about. Because, you know, I don't want to talk about the same thing everyone else is talking about. I really spend the whole morning talking about what everyone else is going to talk about. So we're going to talk about something completely different. So it just dawned on me some aspiration, you know, at that Taj Poino. So why is Taj having little boys who put on makeup on his show now? Why? And a lot of people apparently support that. You know what that is? That's society. That's the television. That's the fall. You know, they said that this spankless society that we we are living in is such a utopia, you know, that spanking your children is considered abuse and that we all just, you know, need to conform to whatever standards of removing, you know, discipline from our society are. I, I just still can't figure it out. Notice how other societies have discipline. We have zero discipline whatsoever. Notice. Notice. So... So if I want to make a, uh, a video about how the sun is being dimmed and how apparently there's a lot of depression going on. Funny how I mentioned the depression, the lack of sunlight, how lack of sunlight causes depression. This is very obvious. Everyone knows that if you don't get vitamin D into your body, you will become depressed. Why do you think InfoWars sells that vitamin D like Happy's garbage? That's for all those places like Vandenberg. Where there is no sunlight and people were like depressed and stuff all the time over there because there's no sunlight. Because it's cloudy all the time. That's how it works. Hello, the same thing, like the whole Vandenberg, that's where I've seen this before is Vandenberg. This whole treatment that we're getting around the United States right now is the Vandenberg treatment. There's no sunlight. It's constantly cloudy, foggy, you know, everyone's depressed, everyone wants to die or whatever. But but let's let's digress back. So if you want to make videos like that and actually prove with Harvard's own documents and, you know, NASA's own claims and, you know, whatever other things that we see, anomalies in the sky. And, you know, I'm kind of new at recording things in the sky, but, you know, I've been getting some good stuff. From the sky. Unbelievable. Once you become aware of the sky. Once you, like, want to bring out a camera now and start recording the sky. It's funny how everything comes to you. You know, the sky is always there. Everyone's looking at it. But it's not until you start recording the sky do crazy things start happening. But anyway, you want to make videos like that, recording the sky, guess what, you can't. Demonetized. Oh, kicked off YouTube. But guess what, I bet that uh, tranny kid over there, tranny or drag kid and tranny, that's really what it is, drag kid and tranny. Don't worry, they're going to have a whole uh, Netflix special episodes on, on a bunch of kids just like that. You thought that drag kid quit, uh, kid show was you know just the tip oh no they're gonna have the makeup tutorials and everything for all these young boys and everything to get involved in but yes yes you could be on youtube if you want to make those videos you can make money if you're some 10 year old who's putting makeup on his face can you imagine that they're not even young girls that are allowed to put makeup on their face at such a young age, but that young boy is allowed on YouTube and is allowed to be on Taj.0 to go up there and, you know, spread the good love of, you know, apparently these children who are so enlightened but can't even have a credit card yet. So I would like people to explain that one to me. We know that there's nobody under 18 paying for Super Chats unless somehow they have a debit card or a credit card or whatever, but from what I can tell, you still have to be 18 to have a credit card so there's that and i think most of these places you have to use a credit card or a debit card so i'm just confused here on how all this works so do these kids even pay taxes because i'm also confused about that too is this like some kind of tax scheme over here so like let's say this 10 year old is making all this money even though that we do know that if he was a child star involved in hollywood he would be seeing none of that money because his parents would be collecting all that money and he would go into a trust or whatever or however the parents steal and rob from their kids or whatever. But So this whole thing in itself is like all these kids who are monetized on YouTube, who are under 18, who are making all this money. Who's paying all the taxes here? I don't get this. Do they have their own tax lawyer or whatever? Are you 10 years old and you have your own tax lawyer now because you're making more money than the average adult putting makeup on your face? So I'm just confused about that whole situation and scenario there. Here's another one, too. All those people who are leaving to bit shoot and all these other places, why does it matter? Because guess what? All those people who are at the top are all the same people. They're all the same demonic forces. They're all the same people with all the money, the cash flow to do whatever. They're going to just buy up bit shoot. They're just going to buy up all the other places. <laughs> They're going to do the same thing then and there. I mean, we saw it already. 
We saw it already with social media teaming up with, uh, I forget who, you know, Airbnb and the rest of them. And, oh, yeah, Patreon. That was the other money-making source was Patreon. Guess what? They're going to go after Patreon, too. Guess what? No more Patreon for all you people out there. But if you're some kid who wants to put makeup on his face, guess what? You'll make money on Patreon. Bitch shoot, you want to make money? Oh, guess what? They'll just buy out bitch shoot. Guess what? They'll just do everything they can to get rid of bitch shoot. Guess what? No more videos. They'll just have the same rules, same requirements to... You know, just having the server will be a requirement. You need to be like Hillary Clinton and have your own server in your own house. If you want to you want to have people come to you digitally, guess what? It's like your own digital business. You need your own server at this point. Now, that's what they're really moving up to. It's truly incredible. So so let's learn here. Let's learn here. We're not allowed to make money on YouTube. We can't make money anywhere else, you know. We got to you know, beg for shekels over here, you know, as like what was that video? Like, I am a whore. <laughs> it's pretty much what it is, is people selling out for money. All those people selling out, giving up their principle, giving up anything they believe in just because money's in their face. I mean, think about that. A lot of those people on YouTube say that. They're like, well, I don't really believe in this information, but yet I'm profiting off of it. <laughs> what the hell It kind of garbage is that? Just think about how many people there are out there like that. And people actually support that nonsense. I mean, that is literally the most unbelievable thing that I've ever said. I just I just laugh. Why do you do why do people do this? This is why I don't understand. Why do people do this if they're just in it for money? If they're if they're doing this and they don't believe what they're researching and it's all fake or whatever, why do they do this? Why do they do this? I really don't get it. I'm really trying to understand what the whole concept is. And I mean, if, if people really can't see this, you know, that all the people at the top are the same and that nothing will change, you better believe nothing will change because no one at the top will change. So why do you expect reality to change? It's just like the whole election and everything, just like the last video I did, just like President Trump saying that he's removing troops from the Middle East, but you don't hear that brought up anywhere. You know what you hear? The exact opposite. Thousand more troops headed to the Middle East. So when you really hear things like bipartisan and call your Democratic congressman and the silent socialism of the red states to the blue states and to the guys that the economy is getting better and one of the guys that, you know, we need more immigration, we need merit and all that. No, we don't. We don't need any of that. You know what we need? We need to shut it all down. How about we increase the American standard of living? How about these corporations actually get over themselves already? How about we start removing? Uh, you know what I would do? I would put a massive restraining order on all corporations in Washington, D.C. That's what I would do. I would make sure that not a single one of their lackeys, not a single one of their representatives, not anybody from a foreign country... You know what I would do? I would shell Washington, D.C. for about two months for an ultimate fumigation. You better believe I would be fumigating the hell out of that place. It wouldn't be like no Trump fake-ass fumigation either. We're talking about real fumigation. I have my own plans, my own ideas. All I need is the power. All I need is the power. Just imagine. You know, AOC is just one year older or two years older than Owen Schroyer, Faith Goldie, like me, and all these other people out there. Think about that. Think about that. And you don't have uh, any of those people who are our age who do this target those kind of people. Guess what? Those are our targets. You realize that? All those people like AOC and our age group, Owen Schroyer, Faith Goldie, anyone in this uh, tier right now, th these are all targets who people should be tearing down. Why let idiots up into the echelons if they're not going to do anything about it like all the boomers right now? Think about that dumbass mentality. We need to break free from the dumbass mentality. Just like the Pentagon pick, the head of Raytheon. Isn't that just a massive conflict of interest? Get the hell out of here. Imagine those stocks just start skyrocketing. Isn't that, a, isn't that just some business violations or what? what? I just can't even think of the word right now because it's it's a crime. It has to be a crime. There's no way that scheming your business because you know that, you know, the Pentagon is now head of Raytheon and now we're going to go to war. So you think like all the Raytheon, Lockheed Martins and all the other places out there, DARPA places, all well, their advanced weapons technology. Look at this. This has to be a conflict of interest. The fact that we're permanently at war. Their businesses would be useless and their stocks would plummet because there is no more war. So they would just be in constant research mode. And no one pays for research unless it produces. So it makes you wonder, what are they really hiding from us? It's just unbelievably sick. 
Unbelievable how we sit here day in and day out and have to deal with this constant enslavement of our dollars.